Bonjour à tous. Hello everybody. So today, first things first, in a different location. I'm on my bed. It's fun. I brought my laptop over here and did not feel like moving it back to my desk. Which is currently covered in a lot of things that I'm not going to show you because that, that needs to be cleaned. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to talk today about my volunteering thing. I am teaching someone English. Which is hard because English is complicated. Basically, his name is David, and I'm teaching him English, and his level of English is pretty good. He can speak it just fine, he can express his ideas. We're working on grammar, pronunciation, and a couple of other things, and hopefully, I'll be an okay teacher. <laughs> Oh dear, uh, it'll all be my fault if he doesn't improve. Oh well, we're gonna just do that. <laughs> but basically, he is not going to regular school, so I'm literally his teacher. He is 16, and I will be doing lesson plans from week to week and submitting like things for his progress like an actual teacher um i'm not sure if i'll be really grading him on things like if i should be giving him tests and quizzes i don't want to write quizzes and tests little too real little too real Ugh. don't want to do that i also don't want to give him homework but i feel like i should since we only meet like one day a week. We meet once a week for like two hours. So, don't know. But hopefully this will go okay. And I'm working on a structure, a structure for the class because Wednesday was our first class. And really it was more of me trying to gauge where exactly he was, what we needed to do and work on which is good it gave me a great idea of what he needs to do and how i can help him and bonus i'm going to be using youtube a lot <laughs> more than usual which is sad because i am on it 24 7. but you know how that is and so i'm half extremely excited this is what i want to do with my life you know and it's going to be a fantastic experience. I think it's going to be something that um, will help me with Teach for America and getting into that. I think it's a great volunteer experience in general because I'm not getting paid to do this. I am doing this for me and I'm doing it for him. And I'm going to be so proud of myself when I see him improve because hopefully he will <laughs> and teaching is just one of those things I always knew I would do except during a little period where I had a bit of an existential crisis in high school <laughs> funny story from five until about the end of sophomore year of high school I said I'm going to be a teacher I'm going to teach history or something I'm going to be a teacher. That's what I'm going to do. I, I know what I'm going to do. And uh, <laughs> sophomore summer comes up and I'm sitting here like, what if I don't want to teach? What if I hate it? What if I'm not good at it? Oh God, what have I done? What's a better career path? And something I've always loved is cooking. And I did make a video a while ago. Uh, about why I'm not actually going to be a pastry chef which is what I decided I was going to be until a, the start of when start of college when I got there and started taking economics <laughs> cue the other existential crisis in my life <laughs> but basically had that existential crisis took three cooking classes my senior year of high school three of them one one semester to the next. 
good god that was so much fun that was so much fun and for my gourmet cooking class which was the second semester of course i was voted the pastry chef for it for the restaurant we do at the end of the year and i did a pretty good job i was really proud of myself for doing it it was really stressful it was just focus get done plate 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 it was so scary but i think i handled myself well and it kind of gave me the confidence to say yeah yeah i am capable of doing this <laughs> and then of course economics happened and i said i am not capable of doing this <laughs> and then by the time i realized that i was going to be a teacher again and not a professor which is something i considered for a while um through half of my sophomore year of college and i said graduate school takes six years i want to be teaching before that so teach for america is kind of the way for i'm going with this and hopefully i get in because the application was due today I submitted it about a week ago so waiting to hear an answer on the 10th Hopefully I make it to the interview stages. I had a really good talk with one of the people for Teach for America. I was able to talk with her and discuss things with her over email. She was really nice and I am excited. I think this is an amazing opportunity and it's going to be helped by this volunteer thing I'm doing. Hopefully I can help David and I can also boost my own aspirations. I can do both at once. The point is that volunteering is amazing when it's done for your pure intentions, wanting to help people, wanting to do what's right. That's amazing. But here's the thing about tutoring or teaching in general. In teaching, you gain something from the students. It's a give and take kind of thing. My mom will totally agree. There are things you learn every day when you're teaching. It's not completely an altruistic thing. It's an exchange. It's an exchange of ideas. You challenge yourself every day to put yourself in the mindset of the students you're teaching and then hopefully communicate to them the knowledge. And the whole goal is that they grow their own minds by asking questions. And when they ask you questions that aren't a straight up yes or no, which is often, because most students' questions are why or how, the teacher has to expand their own brain in order to think more critically about what they're teaching. And that is why the volunteering that I'm doing as a teacher would never have gen been just for the person I was teaching. It would have helped me too, either way. It's a good way to learn. That's basically sometimes the best way to learn is to teach someone else just how it works sometimes. So, there are going to be all kinds of benefits from doing this. And if you ever think you should be a tutor, look into it, your high school, your university, say, hey, I'm pretty good at this subject. Do you need somebody tutoring? Are there people who need help with this? It's a good opportunity. You'll probably get paid and you'll learn a lot. Go for it. Why everybody should teach. <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Au revoir. Bye, everybody.